Hello artists, last day I asked you to draw 12 different textures in your sketchbook and today we're going to use those textures to create a print. Are you ready? All right, you're going to have a styrofoam printing plate. Please make sure your name and table code are on the back and then I'd like you to divide your printing plate up into nine sections. Okay, you did 12 different types of texture last day so nine sections should be good. You can just pick your favorite nine and you're gonna draw those textures into each of those sections. I started here with my slimy texture. I'm using a pencil that's not too sharp because um, we want to have a nice impression, but if it's too sharp, sometimes it tears the styrofoam, so we don't wanna do that. So I'm filling it in with all these different textures that I had practiced the day before. And now I'm gonna add some fish scales. I love drawing fish scales. And some zigzaggy lines. Now it's time to add some color. We're gonna use the Crayola washable markers. If you're coloring a big space, use the fatter markers. If you're coloring individual tiny spaces, then you probably wanna use the skinnier markers. All right, now you wanna make sure the entire printing plate has got some color on it, all right? And you can color them all one, you know, one section all one color, or I like what I'm doing here with the uh, fish scales and coloring them all different colors. I think that works the best. It looks the best anyway. All right, now you do have to be careful because they do smudge uh, pretty easily. So I'm going to go over this section here because I uh, kind of smudged it when I was coloring the other sections. Probably I should have started at the top because look what happened. I turned myself blue. I'm turning into a Smurf. All right, let's try to not turn into a Smurf. Now I'm going to take a piece of paper and I'm going to wet it with a damp sponge and then I'm going to lay it over top of my printing plate and again with the same sponge I'm going to dampen the back of the paper then I'm going to use what's called a brayer and I'm going to roll over top of my paper. All right you can see the color starting to seep through. Make sure you get the corners and the edges and then when you pull it up you have a bright bold colorful print. All right. Go forth and be brilliant.